Gary, get out of there! Get... What's he doing? Get out of the cut! Cut! Get him out of there! Come on! What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What? What? Who told you to go in there? You told me I was gonna have a fall of flames. I got a toy fire. What do you want from me? For Christ's sake. I, the car crash stunk. It was like a couple of old ladies crashing a damn car. And the head. You told me the head was gonna be on fire. That was no fire. I'm a, I saw the head. I told you I the glow dry. Well, it's your job to make sure it doesn't. And the kid, the kid that got squibbed over there, that got shot in the back, he waited for the shot. He waited for it. I mean, who's going to believe that? We're going to have to do it over. Do you have another car? No, look at it. So make a, it's like we're doing a high school play here. Cowboys never stay They're born to be wild and free Cowboys ride away All your mothers tell all your daughters To do what their daddy say Save your love for a rich man It's really the best plan Cause cowboys ride You came along. I was beginning there's nobody out driving today. Hey, I know you. You're Jingo, ain't you? You used to go to Lucy Metcalf? Yeah, that's right, Mama. You remembered my name. I think it's something. What are you doing hitchhiking? Going to work. I work mornings in the cafe up the road. Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you was in the movies. Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, kind of. Is it exciting? Did you get to do all those weird things with those movie stars? Oh, sure. Of course. I guess you heard about your mama, huh? Yeah, I just did. Homer Metcalf wrote me about it. That's why I came home. That's it up there on the right. Yeah, she's in the nursing home where my stepmama works. Lacko. Ain't what it used to be. No one seems to like anyone anymore. Come on in and have some coffee. How about one to go? You got it. Oh, 
Oh, thanks. Anything else I can do? Everything's just fine. See you again, Jingo. Thanks for the ride. Hey, uh, you mean your boyfriend? That's not my new boyfriend. I'll let go of my arm, Darby. You never waited on me like this. How come I never got no curb service? Darby, when are you gonna give up? Now let go of my arm, Jack. Hey, why don't you let go of her arm? Did you say something to me, Jack? Did you say something to me? Huh? Who the hell you think you are? I'm talking to you, cowboy. Look, I don't want to fight. I've been driving all night. Okay? <laughs> you should have thought about that before. Now, look, I don't want to fight. I told you I did. You got me. That's it. That's it. Hold it. Hold it. And stop it. Hey, what's the matter with you guys? Knock it off. Come on. I'm sorry that happened, Jingo. I owe you one. No problem, Nova. You all right, Jingo? I'm OK. Hey, it's nice seeing you again. How long have you been in town? About five minutes. Never love a cowboy. Cause cowboys never stay. They're born to be wild. Hi, I'm here to see April Johnson. I'm her son. Beulah, this is Mr. Johnson. He's April's son. We'll leave you alone now. See you. And what we're going to do is we're going to take you out of this place just as soon as you're able. We're going to move back out to the country, just you and me. You're going to get well. We're going to make this thing work. Shoot, this ain't no place for a hell cat like you, Ma. Well, it's gonna set you back a little bit. Hey, come spring, you're gonna be picking flowers. You're gonna be out there singing just like you used to. Homer wrote me about how the mining company got the farm. I don't want you to worry about that. Because I've been saving up, and I got a pretty good little stake. 
and it might be rough for a while. We're gonna make it work. I missed you. You're gonna be all right. Yes, yes, I, I heard you the first time. Don't get so hot and bothered. Everything's gonna be all right. If he makes any problems, I'll have him curling up like a spider on a hot stove. Goodbye. In, darling, how are you? We were wondering when you were going to get back. Homer? Yeah, Mama? Jingo, what a surprise. We've been wondering when you're going to be coming back home. Jingo? God damn! Homer! Oh, good, 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 good to see you! Son of a gun, look at you. Hey, you're looking good too, son. Uh, hey, want a drink? Don't want a drink. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. You're asking me if I want a drink? Jingo, he drinks too much. Mama, now, stop. You see, Mama, will you just stop it? That? How's the movie business? Great, 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 really. Well, if you want to know the truth, I'm barely surviving out there, but no, I like stunt work. Stunt work. <laughs> well, that's perfect for you. You always were crazy as a loon. Oh, my. Gingo, can I fix you something? No, thanks. Well, then I'm going to go on in and fix my cake. Hey, you still teaching? Yeah, I'm still teaching. Yeah, still a drag. Oh, you should have taken off when I did. No, you only get one chance. Ah, oh, come I'm... on now. That's bullshit. You know it. No, it ain't. It's the curse of the thinker. I've come to the conclusion that the only advantage to being a thinker is that when it comes time to die, I'll get that few extra days grace, because I'll be busy thinking whether or not it's a good idea. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. We had some good times, huh? Boy, we sure did. You got a girl yet? No, but I'm looking. Listen, boys, I'm going to the store, and I'll be right back. All right, Mama. How's your sister? Lucy, she's great. You got my letter, huh? Yeah, of course I got your letter. That's why I came home. I just saw my mother at the nursing home. Oh, it's very upsetting, I want to tell you. I didn't realize she was in such bad shape. What do you know about it, Homer? Well, Doc Rhodes said it was a blood condition. And he's the guy you ought to check with. Yeah, I'm going to. Homer, why did she sell her farm? I mean, she loved that place. Gee, I don't know, Jingo. Maybe when she got ill, the bills were too much for her. Hey, listen, you want to ride out there? I'm going to ride out there right now and see what they've done to the place. Sure. Let me put some shoes on. I'll go with you. Where's Lucy? Well, she was out here. Where... There she is. Hello, Jingo. What brings you back? Well, my mother for one. You for another. Your mother, maybe, but not me. Not me. Can I get a kiss? I guess not. You a big Hollywood star yet? Well, I guess if I was, I think you'd know about it by now. 
Let me ask you something. Would I get a kiss if I was? Lucy. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But nothing was happening for me out there. I mean, I wasn't making a penny. I didn't want to ask you out there to live the way I was living. What happened to your letter writing? You break your fingers doing a stunt? Well, why don't I tell you about it tonight? If we can have a drink. I am going for a drink tonight. Thank you. Jingo, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Bye. -bye. See you, Luke. Take a look at the mine. Well, you need a pass. You got one? No. Well, you're gonna have to get one. Who do I see about that? Harrison Hancock. He's got in charge right here. Harrison Hancock? Is he still around? Yeah, I didn't want to tell you this, Jingle, but uh, that's who Lucy's seeing. Oh, Homer, no. You're kidding. True. So you gotta have a pass, huh? Right. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. It's hard to believe that this used to be my house. I lived here all my life. this garbage. I don't want you to be there right now. What do you mean? I, I used to live here when I... How's things out in uh, Hollywood land? Why don't you cut the comedy, Harrison? All right, I will. That's, that's a fair request. I'm going to cut right to it. You're going to get off here. In fact, I don't ever want to see your face around here again. Well, this is my mother's property, and my mother... Hey, Mr. Hancock stayed off. Now, that means off. i tell you what, Harrison. Why don't you try throwing me out yourself? That's it. That's it. Ah! Jingo! Don't 
Get up, boy. I'll teach you a lesson you never forget. Jingo, once in your life, use your head and get in the car and get out of here. Come on. But you listen to me this one time, because this is the only time I'm going to tell you. Number one, I don't like your ass. I never have. And a lot of people in this county feel the same way. And number two, a lot of people in this county are happy to see Banner Money Company here, because a lot of them are eating better than they ever have before. And number three, if I catch you so much as spitting on the sidewalk, you're going to be breaking rocks before you can turn around. Now, get off this property. Hey, Homer, you want to tell Lucy I'll pick her up about 8 o'clock? We're doing all we can for Jingo, but you must understand that blood abnormalities are sometimes difficult to pinpoint. But we'll continue to run the blood tests until we discover the trouble. I'm sure we'll find out what it is. What's the worst it could be, Doc? To get an answer to that at this point would be pure speculation. But if she doesn't make a change for the better, we'll call in some specialists from the city. Get your shooter. Don't you worry, Jingo. We're keeping close watch on her. She'll come around. How much do I owe you, Doc? Nothing. But you keep out of trouble, because next time it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Well, uh, thanks for passing me up. All right. Thank you. Good to see you back, Jingo. See you, Doc. OK. Bullard, where's Campbell and Bradley? It's to be crazy. Crazy trying to figure out one of these things. It's out patrolling, I reckon. Well, you get them on the radio, you get them in here right away. What's up? Jingo Johnson's up. I want to know where he is and what he's doing every minute of the day. You understand that? Yes, sir. What do you want to do? Follow him around? Bullard, what did I just say to you? Did you want to know where he was and what he was doing? And what's that sound like I want you to do? Follow him around? Bingo! Well, I don't know how I get along without you. Sheriff's office to Campbell and Bradley. What are you gonna do? You got a place to stay? You wanna stay here on the couch? Come on. Oh, well, Lucy in the next room? That would drive me crazy. No, right now, I just want to do some thinking. Go out and see my mother at the nursing home. Come on, have a drink. Want a drink before you go? Nah, I just want to be alone, Homer. You know it's done, Jingle. There's nothing you can do to get that land back. As for Lucy, I don't know. Thanks, Homer. That really cheers me up. Let me know where you're at.
What are you getting all this spruced up for? I'm just combing my hand. You call that sprucing up? Why don't you stay home sometimes? Because you look like something a wolf ate and shit over a cliff. That's why. Make me feel all warm and romantic when you say things like that. Uh, yes, Sheriff? Is that Johnson boy still there? Uh, um, yeah, he's still here, Sheriff. You gotta go now. Okay. I'll see you later, Mom. like you was arguing with somebody. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. You scoot now. Pretty funny. I was a hell of a lot older than she is before I started muttering to myself. You are a crazy man, Otis Crown. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple hours. You sure will. Who are you looking for? Boy. He's been following me all over town. I think Grimes must think I'm gonna steal some hubcaps or something. Listen, I found out a little bit about your mama's deal today. I don't know how much she got for selling the farm, but I do know that their transaction wasn't with the mining company. It was with the nursing home. Well, who owns the nursing home? Brian Hancock. Harrison's old man? That's him. Well, hell, he's the guy I should be talking to then. Well, he isn't gonna tell you anything. Besides, it's impossible to see. What do you got in your hand? These are pills my mother's been taking. I took it from the nursing home. Well, what are they? I don't know. I'm going to talk to the doc tomorrow and find out. Well, if you want to give me one, I'll have checked out school in the lab first thing in the morning. OK. Homer, old man Finch and Anderson are at the nursing home, too. I didn't know that. Right. See you later. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
look at that. Oh, quick. Turn off your headlights and your motor. What's he doing here? Shh. What's he doing here with the lights off? And... Oh. Honestly. Sometimes you have chicken squat for brains. Well, how is I supposed to know? Well, there's a lot you don't know. Oh, yeah? Yeah. In fact, Johnny Gardner told me he was a cherry. Well, that's a lie. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, if I'd known that before, I probably wouldn't have made you wait so long. Oh, 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 that's, oh, what's wrong? Damn it, Beaver. Can't you keep it down? You're breaking my concentration. I'm sorry, Otis. Sheriff should come out. Oh, but don't worry about him. It takes him forever. Oh, I don't know. I do. Huh? Come on. Oh, hey, what? Now, look, you're a cherry, right? And everybody knows the first time's got to be something special. I'm going to give you something to remember. What? We're going to do it in the sheriff's car. Are you crazy? Come on. Okay. There you go. Wait a minute. All right, no, all right. This little girl here is underage, and the Lord don't take kindly to that story rape. Rape? That's what I said, rape. What happened? I told you you had a problem, child, on your hands. What do you mean? She and Billy Bob were screwing in my car. What? Why, you get on in that house. Billy Bob, go on home. Go on, get. Don't you ever let me catch you hanging around this house ever again, you hear? Come on, yeah. I better get on back, too. Be my charming self. You're crazy. Hey, where you headed? Oh, really? Well, it's a nice place. Haven't been there in a long time. Oh, yeah, it's a lovely day today. Not a cloud in the sky. Hey, Lucy, would you hold on a minute for Christ's sake? Come on, we gotta talk. I'm mad, damn it. You scared the hell out of me back there. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. No, you're not. You're never sorry about anything. Hey, Lucy, we gotta talk. You know we do. What do you want? 
and you don't understand. I don't want to spend my life driving around a pickup truck. What is that supposed to mean? You hadn't exactly set the world on fire, have you? I don't know. I, once I thought I might get out of this place. And I thought you might make it possible. Is that what you feel for me? You know better than that. You know I loved you. That's all gone now. We've grown apart. I'm not saying that I don't care for you. I just, I can't see myself washing clothes and doing the dishes and watching television for the rest of my life. I can't. What do you see yourself doing? You'd laugh at me. I'm not gonna laugh at you. Yeah, you would. No, I'm not. I wanted to be an architect. And you know, I know I could have been. I know I could have been good. I had a vision of this, this building. It was a big, beautiful building. And I would have designed it all myself. I would have been good. You don't think that? <laughs> you think it's funny? I, I don't think it's funny. You're laughing! And you know why? Because the only thing that you think I'm capable of doing is, is, is having kids for you and taking care of you. Lucy, Lucy, let me ask you something. Do you think Harrison Hancock cares anything about your dreams? Because I can tell you right now, he doesn't care at all. Nothing. No! I know he doesn't care. But by God, he's a way out of here. He's a chance to, to do something and be somebody. Be the person I was meant to be. What is that? What counts? Having a way out? Is that it? I mean, Lucy, you don't seem to care whether or not there's any kind of love in it or what kind of creep you're sleeping with or anything. Those things don't make any difference to you anymore. I don't know what the hell has happened to you. You know what's happened. You know what's happened. I've grown up. Lucy, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I feel sorry for you. Don't you waste your sympathy on me. Because you're going to need every bit you can get for yourself. Every bit. Lucy, where are you going? I'm going home. I have a date for the dance, and I have to get ready. Lucy.
I want you to blow that car off this road! What's the matter here, Bullard? You out of gas? No, I'm not out of gas, you son of a bitch. Well, why don't we just jump in my car and I'll give you a ride back to town. You give me a ride? Shit, I ought to arrest you for speeding. I'm you sorry. You know how fast you were going? I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, Joy, sorry. I promise I'll never do it again, Bullard. Come on, I shake. Where'd you learn to do all that fancy driving, anyway? Well, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're harder to catch than a greased pig. <laughs> Lord, you know I always had a lot of respect for you, and I always felt that you're a hell of a good old boy. Well, hell, I always thought a lot of you, too, Jingo, but the trouble is, you're always in trouble. <laughs> hey, if I'm such a good old boy, then what the hell are you doing following me all over town like that? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> ah, come on, boy. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make you a deal. You're gonna make me a deal? I'll get that car started for you if you tell me why Grimes is having you follow me around like that. Shit, you can't start this car no better than I can. Well... There you go, Bullard. God damn, Jingo. <laughs> I ought to shove this son of a bitch right down your throat and whoop you upside the head one. Now, listen, I gotta know what the hell's going on here, Bullard. I gotta know why Grimes is making you follow me around like that. Now, we got a deal. <clears throat> All I know is he said to let him know if I saw you go anywhere near Brian Hancock, Beulah Barnes, or Doc Rhodes. Doc Rhodes, huh? That's what he said. Hey, Jingo, what'd you do anyway? Might be best if you just made a clean breast of it and confessed. I don't know what the hell I did. Hey, don't you go tell a notice that I told you anything now, because he'll clean my plow. No, I won't do that. That's it for today, Alma. Now, I want to see you here okay. next Wednesday, okay. same time. Okay. Now, you do everything I say, and there's nothing to worry about. Okay. What's so important? Doc, uh, did you know that Mr. Anderson and Mr. Finch are at the nursing home, too? So? Well, don't you think that's a little peculiar? I mean... Why? 
Well, I, they're neighbors of my mother's, and, you know, they're at the nursing home, too. Uh, well, is that what you came here to tell me? That two men that used to be neighbors of your mother are now at a nursing home? No, I... Uh... Doc, uh, what, what kind of pill is this? You know, after you left here yesterday, I got to remember that time at Bass Lake when we caught that eight-pounder. You remember that? Yeah. It's an antibiotic, Jingo. Why? That's a pill they're giving my mother there at the nursing home. Well, better be. I prescribed it. Where'd you get it? I took it from the nursing home. You're really worried about your mother, aren't you? Yeah. I'll tell you what. If she doesn't show any improvement, we'll call in one of those high-priced specialists next week, all right? How about you and me going fishing? You know, I made me up some new flies. We'll see how good they are. How about it? Let me give you a call. Great. Uh, we'll, we'll set a time. OK. Not too serious yet, but nevertheless, it's trouble. Now, you're sniffing around. You're always sniffing around. You tell me why I shouldn't, Harrison. I mean, I I'd like to know. You know what you're going to find out? If you continue to irritate me, you're going to find out that I can be a very mean person. That's what you're going to find out. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I take it you and I understand one another. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Well, that's wonderful. And you'll pardon me for being so violent. Oh! Now, that's a warning. The next time, I'm going to pour kerosene on you and set you on fire. I can't believe I ever let you talk me into this. Well, Brian, life does funny things sometimes. I mean, take, for instance, you and me. We got a deal. And your end of it is to make me rich, and I'm going to hold you to that. Now, what about it? No. I want alternatives. There aren't any alternatives. If you go against my wishes, it would be very unfortunate. Otis, there is rich and then there is rich. You'll never be truly rich. It takes much more than money. Much more. Harrison? Yes, what is it? I want to talk to you. Well, do you have to bellow like that? I'm not one of your servants, you know. You needn't remind me what you are. Are you going out? Yes, I am. And you stay for dinner? No. May I go now? What happened with the Johnson boy? 
Well, I don't think you're gonna have to worry about him anymore. Did he accept the offer? Well, everybody has a prize, Daddy, just like you always said. I'm in no mood for your sarcasm. When are you gonna tell me why Jingo's got you and Grimes so jittery? When you grow up and learn to respect your responsibilities. Gee, Daddy, why do you like me so much? Don't talk to me like that. You've been enough of a burden to me. Don't make it any more than I can bear. Harrison, don't you dare turn your back on me. Harrison, do you hear me? Someday your insolence is going to carry you too far. Story. Would you do me a favor? Sure. I want to have a private talk with Harrison Hancock, and I don't want Lucy or his friends to know about it. Well, how about if I get him to come out here? You're a very smart little lady. I don't know why I didn't think of that. You buy me and Billy Bob a bottle if I do it? Sure, I got one in the car. Billy Bob can get it right now. All right. Hey, come here. Listen, don't tell him I'm out here, otherwise he won't come out here by himself. But don't worry, you won't suspect a thing. Okay. Hey, I'll be right there in the back. In the back. Billy Bob, listen, my car is right over there, and it's in the glove compartment. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. And this evening, Deborah, we're going to be stars and stripes forever. I just wanted to apologize. Who are you kidding? All uh, right, really, I just wanted to apologize. I've been thinking it over, and I realize I've been out of line. The thing is, I've been so damn suspicious of people since I got back in this town that you made me realize that I was wrong, and that, that I had no business in butting in other people's affairs. And I don't know. I. 
I guess if I caused enough heartache to make you do what you did to me today, then I apologize. You really mean that? Yeah, I do. Well, hell, Jingo, look, I, I'm sorry I had to put you through all that. But my job wasn't anything personal. No, no, Harrison, I know that. I know that. You know, this is funny, because uh, when we were kids, we never did get along, but uh, well, now, hell, we're grown up, so no hard feelings. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's your voice, are you? I want to know what the hell is going on, so help me God damn it, I'm going to nail your ass. Do you hear me? I swear I don't know. I want to fall off. Oh. Who's order? Grimes? Hancock? Who's order? Oh. Let's off your mic. You know what? Oh. Oh. 5,000. All you got to do is wait time. Tell your old man I want to nail his ass, Harrison. Him and Sheriff Grimes. My shotgun stolen. Stay as long as you like, Jingo. As long as you like. Thank you, Mr. Clark. You haven't said a word since we left the dance. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Is it that I went with Harrison? Jingo, I know what it is. Do you? Mm-hmm. You think your Madonna's been tainted? My what? That's what it is, isn't it? I suppose you haven't touched a woman since you've been gone. That's right. You lie. So help me God, Lucy, I've been holding out for you for the past year and a half. Well, I didn't sleep with Harrison either. You know, you're really something else, you know that? Do you actually expect me to believe that? I love you, Ralph. What did you call me? Huh? Ralph. 
That's your name, isn't it? Don't you ever call me that again. <laughs> Why? Ralph. I'm warning you. What'll happen? Severe consequences. <laughs> like what? I don't know. I'll think of something, though. You better think fast. Your Madonna's getting impatient. Damn, you haven't changed a bit, have you? Neither of you. You still spoiled brat. That is the last one. I've always loved you, Jingo. I've always loved you. Well, if he's not home, where is he? Doesn't the sheriff tell his deputies where he's going to be? Don't you keep in contact with each other? Sheriff? Beulah Barnes just called and said that Jingo's mother died this morning. She sounded really upset. Sheriff? Sheriff? Where the hell have you been? Oh. Your mother didn't receive a dime for selling her farm, Jingo. How's that possible? She made a deal with a nursing home for free medical care. They promised her they'd take care of her for the rest of her life. No, she wouldn't do that. No, if she were alert. But that pill you gave me. I had that pill checked and they told me that that was chloromycete. It attacks the white blood cells. It creates a blood disorder. It, 
causes the body to waste away. That's probably what's happening to your mom. No. No, Doc Roach, Homer, are you sure? I'm positive, Jingo. What are you two talking about? Lucy, we've been blind. We haven't paid any attention to the people in this town. Hancock, Doc Rhodes, probably Sheriff Grimes. In fact, I'm sure Sheriff Grimes is involved in it. They've been conspiring to steal the land from these people. They get them in that nursing home and they make them sicker. They make a deal with them. They give them free medical service for their land, like they did your mama. Then they turn around and sell it to the mining company for a bigger profit. I'm gonna get my mother. I'll go with you. You want me to? No, Homer, stay right here. Bring her here and we'll put her out in my room. Okay, we'll do that. Where's my mother? April Johnson? Yeah. I'm sorry, she passed away early this morning. A bit early to come calling, isn't it? What are you doing with that shotgun? I'm going to use it. What do you mean? I'm going to clean up this whole stinking mess. What are you talking about? Well, first... I'm going to take Jingo's shotgun here. I'm going to kill the good doctor. And I'm going to kill his nurse, Beulah. That gets rid of two people that might open their mouths and then up. <laughs> what is the matter, Hancock? You're crazy. And then I'm going to produce this shotgun as evidence, and I'm going to let everybody know how Jingo lost his mind and went on a killing spree. You can't And then do that. I'm going to find the son of a bitch, and I'm going to kill him too. If I thought you were serious, I'd turn you in myself. Why 
did you say? I don't think I heard you. Stop acting like a fool, Grimes. You're not frightening me. I thought you'd do that, yes, of course I would. You son of a bitch. Hold on. 
Oh, Jingo, I... Sheriff Grimes, he shot and killed Mr. Hancock and his son. Yeah. I don't know why he wanted you out of town here. Bueller was a witness. Where's the sheriff now? I don't know. I wish I knew. Bueller said he lit out of here right after it. Boy, this is Grimes. Come on in. Go ahead, Sheriff. I want you to get over to the Hancock house. Jingo Johnson has just gone crazy. He killed Mr. Hancock and he killed Harrison. You what? That's right. He killed him in cold blood. Where are you, Sheriff? Are you there? I'm on my way to the mine to see if I can find some men. If you see that son of a bitch, you shoot him on sight. Don't ask him any questions. Just kill him. It's, it's a double homicide. Do you understand that? Sheriff, this is Jingo. I want to make it easy on you, Sheriff. You wait there. I'll be right over, and you can arrest me yourself. Bullard! You put the cuffs on him, you understand? Arrest him! Bullard! Bullard! Bradley, this is Bullard. You and Cam will round up the dock and get out to the mine pronto. Sheriff's out there now.
Jingo, take a look around. There's no way out of here except over me. And that ain't gonna happen. Should have taken the money and left, Jingo. Now it's too late. Care now, you pretty thing. Oh, Jingo. <laughs> you take care of my little girl? Yeah, I'll take good care of her. Right. Well, are you gonna come see us, Professor? Maybe. We'll see you. Come here. I'm happy for you, Jingo. Baby. Oh, Mark. Oh, you take care. Bye, Mom. Bye, darling. Drive carefully now. You will. Bye, Lucy. Bye, Bullard. Bye, darling.
What's wrong? You son of a gun. Cowboys ride. 